and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, it's Jess. Today, in five minutes, I wanted to go over five motivational tools and tactics that you can use to stay motivated in the gym. As some of you may know, I had a wonderful 50 pound weight loss journey over the last year. It was definitely trying. There were plenty of times where I felt like quitting and I didn't want to keep going, but I stayed extremely consistent with my diet and my workouts. I did two to three days a week of cardio and four days a week of lifting weights. And with that being said, there were plenty of times where I needed help staying motivated and here are some tactics that helped me stay on track. Before we get started, if this video sounds good, please make sure that you like this video, comment below on some other ideas you'd like to see, hit that subscribe button and check the little bell to make sure you get updates on all my new uploads, content, and videos. If you're not already, please also make sure that you're following my Instagram, hey underscore, it's just MIA. Tip number one, friendly competition. Friendly competition helps working out with someone, making sure that you have an accountability partner. All of those things will make sure that your motivation stays at a very high level. If you have an Apple Watch, a wonderful way is to have a competition. If anyone in your friend group or family group have an Apple Watch, there is a competition ability in there that's really, really helpful and it helps you to stay motivated by gaining points and having a friendly competition with those that you're closest to. Tip number two. Invest in a cute workout outfit. This may seem kind of silly, but to be honest, I do my best when I look and feel my best. There are so many cute budget-friendly sites out there that you can get a really nice new workout outfit. Amazon has lots of wonderful cute workout outfits. Fabletics, Lululemon, Nike, SheFit bras and leggings, and plenty, plenty more. Tip number three, make small obtainable goals that can help you reach your larger overarching goal. At the beginning of my weight loss journey, being able to to say that I wanted to lose 50 pounds was a great large goal. But within that, I had many, many small goals that were more obtainable and that I rewarded myself off of. So for every five, 10, or 15 pounds, make sure that you're rewarding yourself with something besides food. Whether it's a manicure, pedicure, a new pair of shoes, a new cute workout outfit, some new headphones, a new haircut, whatever you can think of that you can budget in and afford to keep yourself motivated by hitting those small goals to get all the way to hitting your big extra large goal. Number four, write it down and put it on paper. It's one thing to discuss your goals openly with friends and family, but it's another thing to have an accountability partner and make sure that you are writing your goals down. By you writing them down, it makes your brain want to achieve them even more. So make sure you're not only speaking them into existence, but you are putting them down on paper so you can see them each and every single day to hold yourself accountable. My last and final tip is tip number five. My last and favorite tip to stay motivated and why I continue to go to the gym, even now after my weight loss goal has been hit, is to remember why I started in the first place. This may seem very broad, but it's a wonderful goal for those I any point in their weight loss or health journey. There's plenty of times when I still don't feel like going out for a run or going to the gym. But what do I do? I ask myself, have I ever said I regret that workout? Never. Try to remember why you started and look at how far you've come. A wonderful way to remember how you started is to take progress photos. You don't need to take them every single day, but if you start taking photos once a week, you will see a change. And when you start to feel a little bit insecure about your body or not seeing as much progress as you would like, look back on those progress photos and I promise your mind will be blown and you'll be ready to hit the gym. Another great thing to ask yourself when trying to remember why you started is asking yourself, have I ever regretted that workout? Most probably, if not always, your answer is going to be no. Remember to keep going. Consistency is key in your weight loss and health journey. If you ever need an accountability partner, I'm there for you. I hope those quick tips, tricks, and thoughts will help you on your weight loss and health journey. Throughout your motivation highs and lows, just remember that consistency is key. So what are you waiting for? Get out there, go work out, go work out right now. Thank you so much for joining and I really hope that these tips helped you. Now go kick butt, you got this.